is from the class of 2009. Our up-and-coming alumnus is Nicholas Clift. Nicholas Clift graduated from Adrian High School in 2009. He is being recognized as an up-and-coming young alum, but according to Nick's nominators, he blooms wherever he is planted. Nick is a senior business analyst in the social sector practice with McKinsey & Company, a very prestigious worldwide management consulting firm in Chicago. One of his interesting caseworks was to create a cohesive team among new presidential health appointees in a worn-torn, low-income nation where the government is the only source of health services for well over 100 million people. His team also created a workshop to bring together their new health care leaders to build a cohesive force to counter corruption, build efficiency, and continue improvement for health incomes in this country. Creating solutions has been Nick's mantra for most of his lifetime, so engineering was a logical choice for this young man. As a college intern for NASA at the Kennedy Space Center, Nick's keen sense for digging up information and working with teams to create data-driven solutions went beyond Earth. He developed a database system to streamline communication between NASA centers and reduced opportunity for error. His work also supported pre-flight testing of robotic refueling mission that was successfully launched to the International Space Station aboard the final space shuttle flight. His next internship was with the Boeing company, Avionics Design Center. Here he created MATLAB simulation demonstrating the potential of a signal filtration technique in improving self-landing technologies. Social issues and community involvement have always piqued Nick's interest and sparked his involvement. As early as middle school, Nick was actively involved with the Apple Committee that promoted and helped pass the school millage for extensive district renovations and upgrades. He spoke before community and business leaders with poise and passion. In high school, he established the Environmental Conservation Society, a pro-Earth health, anti-climate change student group. In the Adrian community, Nick became a charter member of the first Adrian Mayor's Youth Council. Mayor McDowell says, Nick was very intelligent, witty, a good listener, and was not afraid to roll up his sleeves. Nick played a major role in drafting the charter for the very first youth council. He was also a huge help in producing a video entitled Adrian's Points of Pride. He received the Michigan State Outstanding Student Leadership Award from the Michigan Parks and Recreation Association for this work. At the University of Michigan, Nick was involved in many efforts in the College of Engineering to broaden students' perspectives around diversity and inclusion. Classmate Jenna says, by the time Nick graduated, he had built Own It into a recognizable brand on campus that had successfully initiated conversations around inclusion in the College of Engineering. At McKinsey & Company, Nick has continued to work to foster a more open and inclusive environment within the workplace. When he wasn't off doing internships, Nick was busy making a difference at U of M. He was the school program director for Detroit Partnership, a student-run nonprofit organization. Nick led the organization in coordinating year-long mentorship programs in over two dozen Detroit schools and centers. Nick's education never took a back seat to his multifaceted interests. At the University of Michigan, he studied electrical engineering where he graduated magnum cum laude in 2013. He continued to advance his education with a Master of Science in Electrical Engineering in 2014. Upon graduating with his master's, Nick was named the U of M Graduate Student of the Year. In high school, Nick graduated as valedictorian of his class. He was also highly involved in music as a singer, pianist, marching band drumline, symphony band, Siena Heights Youth Orchestra, and the Adrian High School Spring Musical. Nick's mother says she's grateful that Nick grew up in Adrian where he learned the importance of teamwork and dedication, as well as what it's like when people depend on you for a small role in a big plan. Nick's father, Gary Clift, also named an outstanding alum for his community leadership, was another good role model in his life. Adrian music teacher Jan Battersby, one of the supporters for Nick's nomination, has known him since he was very young. Her concluding statement reflects what many have said about this young alum. She wrote, Nick is an incredible humanitarian. He has made a difference in our world since he was a young child. He accepts everyone as they are and everyone feels comfortable conversing with him. He truly lives a life for others and will continue to give to others both here and around the world. 
He has the skills and knowledge to make a major impact on our world. Nick resides in Chicago. Congratulations, Nick. Thanks so much. Uh, that was a really great video. I, I would love to watch that video every morning when I get up and they can construe everything I've done that way. Thank you so much. Um, you know, when we watched, I think it was the very first video we saw about uh, Ms. Powell, my sister turned to me and kind of nudged me and she said, uh, so, so what did you do? Uh, I, so I'm, I'm very conscious of the fact that tonight I'm, I'm truly in the presence of, of giants. Um, many, many of the people in this room were giants in my life growing up. I mean, you know, the incredible role models, the people who, for better or worse, shaped the way I turned out. Um, and so I would love to just briefly uh, share a note of gratitude to the folks who meant and continue to mean so much in my life. Um, you know, especially now that I've left Adrian as of a few years ago, um, I think that perspective has, has shown me a couple of things. One of those is uh, Adrian is, like Mayor McDowell always used to say, and as those in the youth council sometimes disagreed with him on, Adrian is in a remarkable place. It's truly remarkable. And I think it has a lot to do with most of the people in this room who taught me compassion, but also taught me that no matter what, no matter how bad the day is, you can always pick yourself back up and you can achieve whatever you put your mind to. Uh, I think one of the first people who taught me that, I was in uh, Mr. Labor and Mrs. Ray's class. Uh, I saw Mr. Labor earlier tonight. Um, and so, you know, as, as any third grader would, I got a little frustrated one day uh, because the playground recess supervisor would not let us play tag. So needless to say, I was furious. Um, and the natural next step was to get all the students in my class to sign a petition to have her fired. Uh, so not part of that story. Um, but I remember I was terrified because like, I don't remember if it was Mr. Labor or Mrs. Ray who pulled me in the following recess, and I thought I was in deep trouble. I mean, man, I just thought he had the petition in his hand, and I thought I was in deep trouble. Uh, but he said to me, Nick, let's strategize on how we can do this constructively. And rather than saying, you know what, Nick, you're, you're crazy, you're, you're not being very nice, he just said, let's think about how we can do this constructively and, and make a difference in the world. Even so, um, uh, Miss Hartung, I saw her tonight as well. Um, Miss Hartung was the reason that I studied engineering. I mean, and I think you ask any person who ever had her as their science teacher, she is unbelievable at teaching people to love science and to love the world around them and to explore. And I, uh, what I think, many, I share many stories about her, but one key example about her was. Um, I mean, I was definitely a nerd in middle school, and I spent the night um, with this telescope that I saved up and bought, and it had a special motor to track the sky, uh, a special camera to take pictures. Uh, and so I took pictures of a lunar eclipse. Um, they turned out pretty bad. They were very bad photos. Uh, and, but I still brought them into Miss Hartung. And she was said, Nick, this is so cool. She put them up in class. She showed everybody in the class. Uh, and it's that kind of attitude of just, no matter what, no matter what goes right, no matter what goes wrong, you, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Uh, I think that theme continues throughout. Um, I, I want to thank my, my parents. Uh, they're incredible people. My mom would always say, uh, you know, don't screw it up when I go to school. Uh, and then I, my dad, would say, get some C's, take the pressure off. And, uh, and so the combination of influences there, um, you know, only in a place like Adrian would, uh, where there's such a sense of community, would our dear friend Marilyn Koleski, you know, still 
still be with us er, to, to be here tonight and, um, and to continue to support me through my, literally my entire life. Um, thank you to my sister and thank you to all the amazing educators here. I hope that if, if I have one message that I'd love to share with the people in this room is just that I'm sure that as a teacher there are some really rough days and there are some days when you almost wish you weren't doing the job that you're doing, but um, I, I can tell you that every single second you invest in your students um, changes a person's 